Wow, that was nice. Yeah, wow, okay. Going to the D-pad, big difference. Much better, okay, great. All right, three lives, nice. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, I think this is one where I have to be high. Oh, okay, I think that time I hit the force field. I think that time I was too high. Nice. Ah, too low. I just made it. Uh, oh, the Zaxxon robot. Did we destroy him? I think we destroyed him. Is this is this level one? <laughs> it is. It is. Okay. Awesome. There it is. All right. Very nice. Wow. So <laughs> the first the first attempt, and we beat the Zaxxon robot. And after 50 minutes and 40 seconds. We have destroyed the Zaxxon robot in our first encounter with him. <laughs> we just mashed firing. He was not able to get off one of his famous missiles, and there it is, Zaxxon for the Atari 5200. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there was a there was a protracted stretch there in which we we met him, but uh, he didn't even move. I thought he was going to be like dodging or something, but I was. A lot easier than I was expecting it to be the boss encounter with uh, Zaxxon. I do suppose if you probably meet him in future rounds that it would be a lot tougher to to beat him, I'm guessing. Yeah, exactly. All right, very nice. We got three Cedrics for beating three and then another five for beating the game. Yeah, so obviously a game that's Pretty historic for being the first, uh, you know, isometric shooter, which is pretty neat. This conversion or port of the game, again, the hit detection was not very good. Uh, the hit boxes were way too large. But um, that said, the gameplay was fairly pretty solid. Uh, a little bit too easy there with the boss at the end, but I guess again, it's just round one. A um, little bit difficult to tell how high you were, but. I can't hold that piece against the game because it was trying something new and innovating. So it's gonna, you know, I'm sure that that was ironed out over time with sort of similar games. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll be interested to play the arcade version just to see how it compares with like the hit detection and those hit boxes. That'll be interesting to see. So thank you, Bill, for the pick. Zaxxon for the Atari 5200.